I'll guide you through how you can download and use CapCut on your PC. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and once you've done that then please consider leaving a like and let's do this. There are two different ways you can get and use CapCut on your PC. The first way I'm going to show you is by downloading the CapCut app onto your computer so you can then go and use it offline as well but in the second half of the video I'll show you how you can go and use CapCut in your web browser so therefore you don't need to download anything you can just go and use it on there. So firstly, I'm going to show you how you can download it though. So to do that, we actually need to go and use something called the Microsoft Store. So if you didn't know, Windows has its own app store built in. So to access it, all you need to do is come to the bottom of Windows and go and tap on search like this and go and type in Microsoft and then store as well. And it should pop up like this. Go and open it up. Then once it goes and opens, just give it a moment. What you'll need to do is go and sign in with a Microsoft account. What you can do is go and browse the store without an account, but as soon as you try and go and download an app, you're going to be asked to have one. So either go and sign into an existing account or go and create a new one, it's going to be up to you. And to actually sign into your account, you just need to go to the top right and tap on this profile icon. I'm already signed in though. So go and click in this top search bar and then what you can do is go and type in CapCut like this and go and search for it. And as you can see, here it is, is this one here. So then go and click on it and then after you've gone and signed in or created a Microsoft account, then just go and tap install and as you can see it's now downloading. Once it's finished it will then go and say installed and you can then go and close off the store. And then as you can see I've then got the CapCut icon on my computer here on my desktop or alternatively I could go to the bottom of Windows again, go and click on search and go and type in CapCut like this and go and open up the CapCut app. The first time you open it up, you're going to go and see a screen which is testing the environment and it's just seeing how it's going to go and perform. That will only take a few seconds and it will then say your computer can run CapCut smoothly. So go and tap on confirm. Then CapCut will launch automatically. In this main part here, you can see sort of your uh, projects you've left. I've got none because I just downloaded the app. So I can click on new project and CapCut will then open. I could then go and start importing footage and go and editing it. Now for the second half of the video where well, I'm going to be showing you how you can go and use CapCut online. So you don't need to download anything and it's pretty cool. So go and open up a web browser. I'll just use Google Chrome. And then what you need to do is go and go to Google and just go and click on it and just search for CapCut like this and make sure you go to the official website, which is CapCut.com. And take a moment to load. You'll then see this screen here. It says sign up for free and it says available on online and download. So go and click online like this and here we are. So what you need to do is log in. I've actually already got an account so I'm just gonna go and quickly log in like now. After you've signed up or gone and logged into your account, you can then just go through the tour which CapCut will provide to you. So literally what you'll need to do is go and upload the footage onto CapCut. The one thing I don't like about video editing online in general is that you've got to go and upload all your clips of course because then you can go and edit them and also the preview screen is sort of lower quality because of course everything is done over the internet. So if you've got like a bit of a slower internet connection it may work better for you to go and download CapCut from the Microsoft Store as I showed you but literally just go and press on upload, upload your footage, drag it into the timeline and start editing it. You've got all these awesome effects on the left hand side but that will also go and apply to when you go and get CapCut from the Microsoft Store as well 